There's no memory locality issues, no cache issues. It's just one giant chip. And so uh, when we were told that Blackwell's ambitions were beyond the limits of physics, uh, the engineer said, so what? And so this is what, what happened. And so this is the Blackwell chip. That was NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huan unveiling the newest GPU from the chip maker, as he just mentioned, called the Blackwell chip. Now, what's interesting here, Josh, is that it's actually two chips kind of married to each other, um, pushed together. It's definitely more complicated than that. But in my language, it's two chips pushed together here. Uh, TM, TSMC is going to use uh, this technique that they, they have called the 4MP to produce that product. But because it's so big, you can kind of see Jensen Huan pointing out the size of this kind of super chip here. Uh, it's going to require a unique production technique. And I'm curious about who is going to benefit from that. Obviously, TSMC to start out, but the other players in the space are going to have to get the capabilities, the manufacturing and production capabilities to produce this chip moving forward if they want to continue to win when it comes to the chip's production side of this story. Yeah, and Blackwell, um, you know, remember, this is the successor to NVIDIA's so-called Hopper, which has just helped yep. supercharge NVIDIA's top line. The flagship from that lineup is, is the H100 that we talk so much about. Um, CEO Jensen Wong is saying that these new Blackwell chips are the engine to power this new industrial revolution. Um, also, NVIDIA is saying, here, they expect Blackwell adoption by a number of, of, it looks like big names. They're calling out Google and Dell and Meta and AWS. You know, we talk a lot about NVIDIA for good reason, um, Maddie, because it is simply the face of this boom of interest in AI. They right. are the number one leader in AI training chips. And, and there is competition. We were just talking to Dan Morgan. And obviously, when you see a stock move like this, you can expect competition. So it's, it's Intel, it's AMD, and very importantly, NVIDIA's own big customers, those, those big cloud giants, the hyperscalers as well. Right, and of course, we're going to see some of those names moving up. Already seeing Broadcom and Intel up. Just to kind of bring it home for people, though, in terms of what this means, uh, Jensen Huan did kind of mention what this will look like in practice, saying that instead of the AI tools kind of recognizing an image, for example, you're going to be able to potentially say to an AI tool, make me a video of Josh Lipton mm -hmm. and I angry Yahoo Finance, and it'll be able to do it. So just bringing that extra juice and power to these AI tools that we haven't necessarily had prior to this. I think you get, you get I mean, one of us, we're only one hour into this keynote. You have a whole mm -hmm. other hour of Jensen Wong, so we'll see what other news comes. But I think already you're kind of seeing bulls come on the show, Madison, and when they kind of pound the table for NVIDIA, often what they'll talk about is some of what we're seeing right now is they'll say, listen, it's chips, it's software. What he's doing really is building a platform. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Makes sense.